So, Cynthia, a lot of students ask me, how fast is natural selection? Mm -hmm. And some of them say, isn't natural selection over for humans because everybody mm. lives to maturity now? Is natural selection over for humans? Oh, no. Uh, we know. And natural selection is simply the when they're at a particular locus, there are different variants of a gene. If one variant has a better chance of surviving and reprodu reproducing under an environmental stress, then that's natural selection. And so, for example, we know that malaria, Vivax malaria, um, there are genetic variants at the Duffy blood group that uh, influence whether or not you get it. Mm -hmm. At uh, the hemoglobin locus, there are variants that influence whether or not you get falciparum malaria. Mm -hmm. At uh, the uh, drug metabolizing enzymes, there are lots of variants, and those determine how fast you metabolize something like cyanide. So sometimes I hear people say, nothing has changed in the last 10,000 years in humans. Oh, a lot has changed. Okay. The environment has changed, how we... But we, genetically have we changed? Yeah, we've, we've, our physical environment, our cultural environment has changed, and we have evolved uh, to uh, adapt to those changes. What are some of the genes that have changed because of different environments? The classic one involves milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. Milk and cookies, yes. Uh, those are modern. However, the fact that we look forward to and enjoy, at least some of us, uh, drinking a glass of milk, uh, well, only some of us in the world can digest the sugar lactose in milk. So some people act like some people who can't digest milk have a disease. Is it a disease? No. Uh, it's just different. So what, um, what's wrong with these people who can't digest milk is what I hear sometimes. Nothing's wrong with them. If we look globally around the world, we see that there are three areas of the world where there are a lot of people who can digest milk uh, after they're weaned. One is North, uh, Northern Europe. and descendants of Northern Europeans, for example, in the U.S. And there's so many of us who come from, or whose ancestors come from the, the Northern Europe, that we think everyone... We think it should be normal. We, we think it's normal, but in fact, on a global basis, it's unusual. Right. And people who don't have, uh, haven't inherited the gene for uh, digesting the milk and sugar, it uh, may drink, let's say, eight ounces or so of milk, and the sugar isn't uh, broken down, isn't absorbed into their system. Instead, it goes uh, along the digestive tract and their bacteria metabolize and cause gas. Lots of gas and uncomfort. Yes. Yeah, right. And that, in fact, is most of the world. Mm -hmm. So it's a really interesting question why the ability to digest lactose turns off at a certain age. Any ideas about that? The classic example or the classic uh, explanation is that throughout mammalian evolution, babies and young infants uh, nursed, had the enzyme. We do, most of us, when we're babies. And then we were weaned and we never saw milk again. Mm -hmm. And since the agricultural revolution... So it's, a, it's expensive to make uh, the oh, enzymes yeah. that break down milk, so that's why it would be good to turn them off? Well, you know, you don't need the milk. I suppose it could be expensive if you're just making them and there's no use yeah, yeah. Uh, put, uh, put to them. And so, but also you could just say there was no selection to maintain it. Right. 